where I live, dating is kind of like fishing in a solid waste treatment plant. Sure, you might catch something, but do you really want to catch <laughs> What up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Stevie Knight here. Night talk-ish, real night talk-ish today, bro. We ain't got no videos, man. Just a little talk, <laughs> a little conversation, just to get y'all's thoughts and your opinions on something in the comments. So feel free to comment on the topic at hand. I just had a conversation with my homeboy about this, too. But it's something I always think about. I'm like, bro, like, I, I would really be concerned if I was single, bro. I would hate to be single right now, 2024. But I need to preface it by saying I would hate to be single with the desire to have a fulfilling relationship with someone, right? Like if I'm just out here on some fuck boy shit, slinging dick, I'm sure right now is a prime, <laughs> prime time to get that going on you know what i mean men and women included it's really easy to throw around for those that can throw around and then it's uh <laughs> this is, it requires no effort at all for women today to get filled up you know what i mean but more, like, on a serious note, man, like for real, for those, especially when you're a little older and shit, man, like if you in your teens and your early 20s, shit, 30s, for men and women today, you ain't got the shit out your system. That's a whole different conversation. I'm not, not, not trying to dive into that, man. But like when you were of age where, you know, you ain't trying to go out to the club and to the bars and be out here on some cat and mouse shit and then having to deal with the dating world right now and and from what I hear from my boys and what I observe from myself and like the conversations I have with you all, man, I'm like, bro, that just sounds depressing. Sounds like a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you get too old to be goddamn out here club hopping and bar hopping and chasing hoes, bro. That's one thing, bro. But then actually trying to find something real with somebody, how difficult that would be. You know what I'm saying? I guess you got to be a little more creative about how you would go about things. You know what I'm saying? Like going to the club, going to the bar. Oh my shit. And then if you go, even if you go to like fucking Walmart, Starbucks, chances are the, the, the girl you're going to run into definitely going to be um, influenced by the feminist movement and the, and the modern woman movement somewhat, bro. And then, you know, on the other hand too, women that want something fulfilling, they just deal with, for, the, for as far as the men that they want, all they continue to deal with is boys. If you know what a boy is, boy is just dude slinging dick. Right, they're not trying to be serious with nobody. You know what I'm saying? But you know, men that can slang dick tend to slang dick as long as they can. But I mean, that, even that shit gets old. So when you get to the point where that shit gets old, bro, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I guess I feel bad for my my boys. Well, I ain't gonna say bad, bro, but I would feel bad for myself, dog, because. No, but here I feel bad for my boys too, bro. Cause don't nobody that shit tiring. Nobody don't nobody want to deal with that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about like what is the most been like efficient and like easy way to go about finding someone in 2024. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I recently made a community post on my night talk shit, bro, and I said, "Single people, how dead is the dating scene? <laughs> dead, dead. It's on life support." It's pretty stable, alive and thriving, bro. Out of the 10,000 votes, 54% dead, dead. 39%, 40% said it's on life support. And then a mega 7% out here really doing it. And I'd imagine they out here on their fuckboy shit or on their hot girl summer type shit, bro. But then I, the reason why I did decide to do this video, man, is I actually clicked in the comments and, um, was reading some of these, bro, and it's very interesting, dog. Just want to dive through some of these. Everyone's too traumatized to be able to trust someone enough to give them a chance at a real relationship. It's facts. Yes, it the majority of people, bro. The majority of people are going to have some PTSD with dating today. <laughs> you feel me? Because of social media, that's valid as shit. Valid as shit. Grab your shotgun and your chainsaws. It's straight up zombie land now. Ain't no going back. <laughs> it's dead, dead, bro. <laughs> if you want meaningless sex, then it's great. But for people who want marriage, kids, and to wait for sex, it's a fucking nightmare and basically muerte, dead. 
Yeah, man. Uh, traditional dating, yes, for sure. It's okay. It just seems like everyone nowadays comes with a lot of baggage, so it never works out. Things were more things were more simple back in the two thousands. Yep. Social media, bro. Feminist movement, the emasculation of men and the masculinization of women. I'm 45 years old. Two of my closest friends and my uncle are a little older than me. We are single and haven't been in a relationship in decades. I wonder how that shit is, bro. If you, if, if you watch this video, bro, uh, I just type it to you right now, man. How is life? Are you enjoying it? Bro, cause that companionship is real, dog. You know what I'm saying? That companionship means a lot. Having somebody to, that rock with you day to day, every day to confide in, talk to, whatever the fuck, bro. Just be around. Have somebody to just go lay next to. Instead of being by yourself and be concerned about what is out there waiting on you if you decide to go out and venture off into the dating chaos, bro. That's got to be terrible. Especially at 45 years old. What the fuck you going to do as a 45-year-old? Go to the club? I mean, that's, you, you can, but for real, bro. 45 years old, you going to the club? I used to blame myself and wonder what was wrong with me, but I've learned some of us just aren't cut for the long-term relationship, and that's okay. The fact that the dating scene isn't alive and well has something to do with it, but mostly it's just nature taking its course. Population control, maybe. I mean, that's an interesting way to look at it. Social media has ruined dating facts. Relationships often don't feel real to me. Sometimes it looks like two people acting out of script. It's all for the moment just to feel the rush of emotion. Then eventually people get bored of each other. And when people get bored of each other, guess what? We have Instagram, Tinder, OkCupid, okay millions upon millions of possible options to interact with the global sexual marketplace in addition to the local sexual marketplace facts. But the social media perpetuates that. It magnifies that. It makes that it makes options more accessible even when you're in relationships. So like the fact that social media is there tempting will speed up the boredom. I wouldn't even call it boredom. It's just the, the readily availableness of options at all times, spe especially for women. But um, I ain't even gonna do that though. Men and women, bro. Everybody is on some bullshit, man. But uh, it's just hard, dog. I've been married, but I voted dead dead because I've seen what's out there. Ain't no way in hell am I ever going back to the streets. <laughs> I know that's right. Even in your 30s and 40s, it's possible to meet new people. I bought a house in the middle of nowhere, and I always wanted to play volleyball. I started I started emailing organizers and meeting new people. I had barbecues with my neighbors and actually met my wife through a neighbor's friend. You have to push yourself outside your comfort zone. There's adventure and excitement out there. You just have to take the first step. The more you know. Gotta be creative. That's a lot. It's not the traditional way, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I got an entitled single mom of two acting like she is the prize right now. It's hilarious. <laughs> why you why well, you just fucking her? Y'all together, bro. <laughs> Like, cause that's hilarious if you still are staying with her knowing the situation, bro. You must just be getting the dick wet. Which means you part of the problem. <laughs> uh, just got divorced last year after 20 years of marriage. I'm not even trying, LOL. Not sure if I'll ever get back out there. Single life is suiting me just fine right now. Let me see the comments. Damn, hate to hear that. Live it up, enjoy yourself, and don't shy away from connections. Yeah, get a community of good friends that you can regularly keep in touch with. I don't think people have to be in relationships to enjoy life. It has its perks, but as long as you can keep love alive through friendships, family, jobs, and hobbies, I think people can succeed just as much, if not more, than a relationship. Relationship does have a relationship does have a certain uniqueness in terms of bonding that I think it's quite valuable as well. It's all up to what people want at the end of the day. That's that's valid through friendships, family, jobs, and hobbies, man. But it ain't it ain't it it, it ain't the same, bro. It ain't the same when you got somebody, dog. Cause that's literally why we're putting this earth, bro. To be with somebody, companionship, thrive, have families, have kids, and all that shit, bro. That's what we. It's, it's unnatural to be by yourself. Uh, same here, but 17 years, life is simple now, and the thought of trying to meet women never crosses my mind. More and more, I feel like a young man's game. I feel like that's a I feel like that's a young man's game. Who in their right mind wants to start all over again in their mid forties? You, sir, start over for yourself, not for a woman. Gut, heart, head. I'm so glad I'm not single. The dating scene looks insane. Facts. I'm glad I'm married, not in the dating scene. I'm newly single after losing my wife a year ago, and honestly, a little scared to even look into because so so many people have gone completely fucking crazy lately. Currently reading the eulogy on relationships and love, along with many others, have truly given up. Hubby and I are so grateful for each other. If he goes home before me or we don't work out, God forbid, 
There's no way I'd be dating again. I'd be happy to die alone. Too old for that BS, especially with the way the world is now. Yuck, that's understandable, though. Like, if you already got some fruitful with somebody, why, why the fuck would you start up with somebody else potentially having to deal with the dumb shit that comes with dating today? Uh, the issue with dating now is that people just go off of a profile pic instead of getting to know someone. Also, social media has destroyed society, in my opinion, and every person are just looking for perfection, facts, which doesn't exist, facts. I've been single for four years and I have been on numerous dates, but either myself or the lady didn't feel a good connection. When you mature and realize what qualities really matter, you also come to realize in this day and age, you may have a better chance finding a needle in the haystack. Facts. Hello, and not a pessimist, just being realistic. That's facts though, I get it. Been a single dad for 11 years now. I have no idea if and when I'll ever find a girl I wanna settle down with. From a straight woman's perspective, I'm shocked at how many men out there cheat, and even more shocked at the number of women that willingly help men cheat by either sleeping with taken men or providing cover stories for their male friends. It's like the golden rule and all empathy has gone completely out the window. I just can't imagine the guilt that would be associated with stepping out on a relationship like that, which is why in all my 42 years, I have never cheated. I'm sure there are men out there that feel the same as me, but it's difficult to weed out the professional bullshit artists from the genuine men before catching some sort of feelings. Good Lord, I thought I was the only one. People are married, have partners, and seeing other people, and I'm like, is this shit what people do nowadays? What is this weird shit? I'm tired of all this kink stuff. <laughs> it's hard, man. Been on many dates, but it never leads to something substantial or fulfilling. Division, narcissism, and delusion have destroyed modern dating. People are so greedy. Everything has to be a thing. I remember going on dates where it was playing a board game and watching a movie on the couch. Now it's like TNA, extravagant trips, or basically anything someone can post on social media. A lot of us have straight up conceded because like in general is life in general is too messed up to take on someone else. Dating is like having another bill that no one wants anymore. Just something else over your shoulders to worry about. Sheesh. It's fucking exhausting and it feels like a job. Nobody what nobody knows what the fuck they want and you can't trust anyone with anything. Never felt more at peace just being by myself the last year or so. Yeah. You was going through it, huh? Unless you just want to meet people online, which is my style, it's pretty hard these days. I'm 32 and I've given up on ever finding someone. I don't know how it is for everyone, but I know how bad it is for me. This shit is depressing. It makes me most solid on my stands that bro, I would be fucking <laughs> I would be fucked. Fuck, this just sounds miserable. Miserable. Mm -hmm. Like, just going out there chasing hoes around just sounds tiring. And then having to deal with they bullshit on top of that? Ugh. Mm. Yeah. Um, I have never been bothered by dating. I wanted to marry a virgin as a virgin and build a family. I quickly learned that that was most likely not going to happen. Nor was it realistic. I watched all the men around me get destroyed in relationships, have the women drain all their energy away, or get cheated on. I even met a 20-year-old girl who admits to being with 20 guys. That's if they were telling the truth. I lost all interest in dating around 23, and three years later, I'm still not interested. Damn, man, that's young saying some shit like that. Fuck. I'm sorry you feel this way. Perhaps you need to open your mindset a little bit and not be afraid of being with someone who's not a virgin but has not had 20 people in their past. I believe that one day you will find the one. There are still virgins out there. I'm one and determined to stay one until marriage. That's 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 hard. And there has to be more than me. I'm 28, no, a 26 year old with 100 bodies. Be <laughs> Bruh, it's different when you read the comments, dog. Like we do the videos that go viral, bro. But y'all, this is y'all. Y'all fuck with me. Y'all be tuned in, dog. I'm 28, no, a 26 year old with 100 bodies. God damn. That's great. I hope I can find someone like that. But if I can't, that's fine, too. Either way, I'm not giving up on my morals. I have no idea how many women out there are virgins, but there can't be that many. But it is good to hear that there are women like you out there. Where I live, dating is kind of like fishing in a solid waste treatment plant. Sure, you might catch something, but do you really want to catch <laughs> Hey, that's perfect, dog. Hold on. As much as it would be nice, I have heard too many stories and personally seen too many things with my parents, myself, and others that at this point, I've lost all hope on life support. Still got a friend that dated a girl after meeting her at the grocery store and engaging in a little conversation with her that led to them being together now for a year and a few months. Okay. But honestly, I was done dating girls from here and, and went for a French girl from the countryside that 
that hated nightlife and city life. She knit, read books, played video games from time to time with me. We go ice skating, she work as a baker, nothing to complain. A real feminine woman that like to do simple stuff and she understand how tired I am after a day on the construction site. So she let me be on my own when I come back home in the afternoon and doesn't complain about time we don't spend together. She does her own shit, knitting, drawing, painting, while well, I do my own shit, play guitar, video game, and simply relax after a hard day at work. Never found a girl like that here, even after a few years of meeting girls every other weekend. Congratulations, bro. So long you hit the jackpot, cuz. <laughs> Two bad relationships, three years, six years of my life. I'll never get back and change me in ways I'm still dealing with. Been single for the past four years with no desire to be in another. I drop Uber on the weekends and it's a movie, bro. I don't know what to tell y'all. Play on, player. <laughs> bro, this is fun, dog. It's already face down floating in the river when a lot of dating apps don't let you see your matches without paying for it. I stopped dating around, just started doing my own thing, and my girl came to me out of nowhere. She better than any of the girls I dated or messed with. That's hard, dog. Good for you. I never struggled when I was single, and also I'm mid-looking. I always attracted stable, normal people for some reason. That's dope, bro. But that's probably one or two positive comments I've read out. How many comments? I've read quite a few. Um, Let's do a few more. If I'm not in it, how the fuck would I know how dead it is? I literally want no part in it. I'm 47 and gave up a long ago. It's just not worth it. Dating is for the outcome of marriage and there's no way I'm signing a contract where the other person is rewarded by cheating on me and then she gets to also take half of everything I worked so hard for. Fuck that. Gave up in 2018. I got, I got interest occasionally, but I'm also set. Thanks. Maybe I'll give another go at some point. Dear people, feel blessed if you found your wife or your husband, cherish them and build together. Be a team. There's nothing better for you out there. The tables have turned. Now, everyone wants what you have, but they can't have it. Mmm. Mmm. Say that again for the motherfuckers in the back. Dear people, feel blessed if you found your wife or your husband, cherish them and build together. Be a team. There's nothing better for you out there. The tables have turned. Now, everyone wants what you have, but they can't have it. All right, only part I disagree with is that it needs to be a wife or a husband. As long as you found a companion that rock with you, you and y'all and y'all are good, y'all are solid, ain't no bullshit, you winning and you definitely have what the majority want and they can't have. That's facts. All about location. Your desire somewhere you just have to find. Okay, it's all about location. Your desire somewhere, you just have to find out where. And it's and it's still some good old fashioned people out there that's about connection values and a great time and anti social media because 70% of the problem with the natural order of life, yeah, social media is the root of all evil. 39, and I won't even let my shadow get too close. <laughs> Voted life support because I just found the love of my life two months ago through a dating app. Despite being on them for years and knowing how bad it is, it's possible. Just incredibly rare. I'm tired. If passports had stocks, we would be rich. Passports, bros, doing it right. Every chick I've dated from the last 10 years pretty much still DMs me. I don't offer commitment anymore and seems to keep them coming back. <laughs> All right, man. This was fun, but we got to do this shit again, dog. But yeah. From y'all's comments so far, it seems like uh, dating is dead. It's dead. And it ain't coming back, bro. It's not coming back.